Hello everybody, welcome back to the Greedy Wolf New Challenge. Last time we left off, we finished the first island, which was full of guns. Now we're starting the second island, and we're immediately a sniper. Why? Because I could not do this as a scout. I tried and tried, but without getting the sniper rifle from the spies, I just couldn't beat it. And, you know, that's a very small chance of getting a sniper rifle with one pickpocket. And I'll be truthful, I did, like right before starting this recording, I did a single practice run of mission 6. Because this mission is not very forgiving. But I think I have found a strategy that is a lot safer than the original one I was trying. But we'll see, because in practice it worked out perfectly. But I hit the record button so the games can completely flip it upside down and I'm going to die in the first three turns. We'll see, we'll see. Or that, I'm gonna mess up the mine more. Either way. Yeah, I'm gonna be hiding away our sniper. He's gonna grab the help just for a little bit of insurance. And we're gonna stay in here and we're gonna shoot. Cause now if they wanna attack us, they're more likely gonna hit the building, giving him some protection and distraction. So if everything goes right, like it did in practice, he should hide. Yeah. And he doesn't fall on hide, he kind of glitchy hides. Okay, this is the worrying part here. Yep. <laughs> Two seconds in, now I failed. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit the, I'm not gonna hit restart. I mean, I'm not gonna restart the recording, we're just gonna try again. Just to mean we go straight back into it. That mind walk is always so confusing because you can't, or well, obviously I can't see where I'm going with the mines. All down the memory and a bit of luck. And obviously my memory just failed me. <laughs> Alright, well, do the same thing to start again. There we go. And the reason we're putting him in there is because if the sniper does have him take a turn, he'll more than likely just shoot the building one. Thankfully, that seems to be very consistent with him just hiding away like that. Okay, I think we were about one short that time, so... Yeah. We were just a bit off. Now, the other problem I have is going backwards to this thing. Okay, we're good. And we're gonna take care of the other spy. I keep calling them snipers, I don't know why. take care of him because we don't want to take care we don't want to have two spies shooting at us if they do decide to attack there we go he's pretty much dead yeah there he goes <laughs> good lord I wish we had more chance to do the super air burst but it's the only time it pops up in single player <laughs> alright if this goes like it did last time we should be pretty well safe unless he's aiming for air aid which he is not that's not exactly what happened last time, but we only took 11 damage, so I think I can take that. Okay. I'm gonna grab the health kits on this guy, because he has a chance of just dying. I mean, I'm gonna let them die if they do, but as long as we got them, I want to try and protect them. Okay, our goal here is to knock this guy down the hill. Because we want to get both of these guys down because, well, they're very dangerous while they're up there. So if we can knock them down just like that, we got a much better chance of winning the mission. Oh, crap, he went skywalking. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on, he couldn't knock him down. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Although, now that now that, that happened, actually, the later hose didn't die this time. In practice, he got nailed by a mortar. Here, he just got shot in the face, which is, I that still hurts, but ain't nothing like a mortar to the back. Okay, now this is the tricky one, because he's on a bit of a different plane here. And obviously, I still can't see the mines, so I don't know how close I can get. So, same thing, just aiming to get him down there, here, so it's less likely to use his heavy weapons. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't matter if he goes in the minefield, and it would help, but it doesn't matter that he didn't. 
And this guy's actually taking turn, which sucks. He might hide, he might just throw poison gas. Poison gas would be preferable, but if he does shoot, it, we could survive it. And he could shoot a wolfie too, which would miss. Poison gas would actually suck if I hit wolfie though. But it's more likely. Ooh, never mind. Okay, that wall's probably gone, but we should be able to move Wolfie before his turn. Again. So we're actually going to go ahead and just pop this gun in here, because why not? And shoot him. Just to give the gun some protection and maybe a bit of a distraction if the sniper goes for him. I think we're gonna win this mission now. We got a very good chance of winning it at least. Because this guy, he should use his pistol. Yeah. That is very preferable. Because, well, obviously. Compared to his heavy weapons, that is very easy to fight off. And we're going to keep Wolfie back here and hope that, that he can distract the uh, sniper. Spy. Dang it. <laughs> and we're going to shoot him. I would use my pickpockets. I would have used them on the guy that was in here, but I didn't want to let him live. Alright, spy. Or well, later hose, what are you gonna do? Don't shoot late. Well, actually, he can shoot later hose. He's in the building. Don't throw a poison gas. How about that? Well, we still hit. Because, well, well, obviously, poison gas. We'll really limit our time with Wolfie. And that's partially why we got the health kit, so if he does get poisoned, he can hopefully survive regardless. But it's another sniper shot, which is fine. I made sure to stay away from the wall, so I wouldn't actually accidentally get hit anyways. So, so far everything's going well. Alright, it's a bit different than what did in practice, but that doesn't... So far I haven't changed it that much. Okay, now let's try and get him into the minefield. Because that will help us out. Might even kill him. Yeah, that's it. Hurt us a little bit, but we should be fine. Now we just have to get a sniper. Spy. Dang it. Why do I keep calling him Sniper? He has sunglasses and no hat. He's most obviously a spy. <laughs> Okay, and this is a could make it a bit interesting if he's gonna hide out back here. Alright, I still expect him to really aim for Wolfie mostly. And this is probably where most of our guns are just gonna start dropping like flies. If I'm being truthful. But I really don't know. He's not really acting normal, <laughs> so to say. Oh, don't go up there, dude. Come on. Okay, that sucks. How much health does he have? Because if he gets a free turn, that really sucks. Okay, only poison one of us at least. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I kind of wish he poisoned both of us. Well, he's going to get a free turn, which obviously isn't what we want, but we can't avoid it now. But now, we're gonna try and get as much damage on him as possible. And he might just aim for Herman, because he has 90 health. I would like to get him in the mines, but I honestly could not figure out how to. Or maybe he'll shoot her way. Oh, he will, thank you. Please don't miss. I know that sounds weird, but I don't wanna lose a turn. Thank you. Thank you for being an idiot. <laughs> We have a guy with 90 health, we have a sniper with 110 health. Who does he aim for? The gun with 9 health and poison. I'm not I'm not complaining though. I'm just... <laughs> the AI logic is more or less what I'm laughing at here. Okay, let's see. Can we get him down that little hill? 
Okay, we didn't get full damage for that grenade. Right, he's downhill, but I think he's gonna one away. Because Fly is like one away a lot. He's quite literally aiming at everyone with lower ish health. But he's not aiming to finish anyone off, it seems like. So I think we can just take Wolfie out here and start doing the wheel damage here and hopefully distracting. Yeah, shoot him in the cheek. He's just about dead, too. Yeah, one more grenade to finish him. Maybe we can avoid having two people die here if he shoots at the right person. Yeah, there we go. Because Wolf, we can take two shots? Three shots, I think. No, not quite three. Not quite. But you will get the final kill. Alright, the final grenade. That went pretty well considering all things that could have happened. Because these enemies are pretty tough. I did not cheat. You were just kind of an idiot, clearly. He could have really dealt some damage there, but he just didn't. Alright, no survival bonus because her raid sadly died. But we only lost one. That's pretty good, I'd say. Now we'll do mission 7, and that'll about do it for today, because mission 8 is a lot more complicated since we only have a sniper. And I might try to show you guys right, what I mean, or why not. But we'll see. We'll see how long mission 7 takes, because it still takes a little bit. Even with the super TNT strategy. I don't know why I'm being so quiet this episode. I, well, at least I feel like I'm being way really quiet this episode. I just kind of worried a bit because these missions aren't that easy. And like I said, I did practice on a mission six. That was it. That's all I practiced before starting this episode. So the rest of these missions you're going to see here are going to be unpracticed. But maybe mission eight I'll practice because I'm not too sure how to complete that mission if I'm being truthful. And I'm sure there's a way, because, you know, one of the people in the Hogsworth community, I think it was Bobby, actually completed Mission 8 with only a scout. He was using that lower mod, but still, that's very impressive. So, if he can do it with scout, I can do it with sniper and guns. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how many times that screwed me this week. <laughs> I've done that so many times where I've accidentally hit the hide button. When I've just been playing around. So let's try that again, without hiding instead of shooting. <laughs> God dang, that sucks. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I went against the wall, it's just so I didn't slip. It doesn't really change anything whether you go up there or not, that's just what I do. But let's try that again and let's actually blow them up instead of hiding. Because, well, I'm going to try my best not to do the hide trick. Well, and by that I mean hiding and jumping on the edge. I'm gonna try my best to avoid doing that for as long as I can. Alright, I will more than likely have to resort to it at some point doing this. But I hope it's a bit further on in the playthrough. And you know, now that I think about it, I should have used the pickpocket on him first, but oh, it don't matter much now. He's a pile of ash. Oh, no. He didn't turn into a pile of ash. No, he drowned instead. Poor fellow doesn't get any blakes. Okay, sniper, you should do what you typically do, which is turn around and go up on your ass. Yep. <laughs> if they were gonna make this game harder, they should really give the, the snipers and maybe even the medics the grenade launcher at least. So they can actually attack when they don't have the right line of sights. I do know, I do know the medics have grenades, but they have very very small reach. So it's not that simple at all for them. But I don't know. I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. That was a bad drop. I good lord, that was the worst drop I ever made because I didn't make a drop. <laughs> I just simply went for a dip. Didn't dive enough, and I just fell in. <laughs> 
So I'm probably gonna be hobbling with this guy. Yeah. And just so you know, I was spamming the drop button that whole time. It just didn't drop. <laughs> and let's take care of these two. Let's get down here. So hopefully we don't get attacked. Now this is where the mission is probably going to go on. Is because these guys are not very friendly because they have bazookas now. And more than likely that means we're going to lose a couple pigs. I'm not even joking about that. We have a very good chance of losing pigs here. But he is aiming for the sniper instead which still sucks but it's not that bad. Or it's not as bad as it could be. Especially since he didn't even get full damage kind of weird, but I'll take it, because typically he ends up here with his berserker and kills one or two of these pigs, because he could slide out of the map so easily. Ah, drop, yay, drop button worked. And we're going to take his pillbox, we're not going to do anything with it yet, because we have no one to shoot at. But we are going to turn it towards the other pillbox, because they should be distracted by the pillboxes, more than likely. Even though we've already lost one v once, so it doesn't matter all that much. But I'd still have to keep Wolfie alive as best I can, at least. And use your bazooka. No, gonna, okay. Now he's gonna aim at the gun, so we might lose one or two of these guys. Which obviously is not ideal, but it happens because he can slide out so easily. Okay, they're both made up, but god dang. <laughs> it's gonna be the dude with 10 health, isn't it? Okay, no, later it was the last pig, so that's fine. Because we need to make it over here to take the last pillbox. And I got a sneeze coming, so. Volume warning, I guess. <laughs> I know, it's gone. Because whenever you say you got a sneeze, it's gone, just like that. Now we'll take his pillbox, then we'll shoot the other guy. Because now we have the two things that we really needed. And should we distract them now, if they do end up taking a turn. So there we go, shoot him in the face. Well, did I shoot him in the face or did I shoot him in the neck? It doesn't matter that much, does it? I know the camera zoom was for the same, like, hey, this guy's low on health. But it didn't matter that much because he didn't have that much health to begin with. Alright, we're not gonna take him over there because he has dead health. He's not gonna make the swim. Like, he could, but I'm not going to try it. So instead, we're gonna shoot him in the face. Well, I keep saying in the face, I'm shooting him in, like, the side. So now anyone can finish him off. And then Schwein should skip the go just like that. And you don't need help again. You're, you're still pretty good to go. So we're just gonna stand here and shoot you in the hat. If not, then we'll you're everybody. There we go. And he's not gonna skip the turn, which sucks. I'm gonna shoot at the pillbox, which is fine, I guess. But since he's taking his turn now, we're gonna finish him off. I'll try to at least. Because we obviously don't want them attacking that much. Okay, that should hit him. I keep watching my shots. I have 30 seconds. Okay. No jails now. We only got one more to go. I will not. I don't know who your mother is. None of us have backstories or anything. <laughs> We're just generic characters on the video game. Okay. Okay, we might hit Wolfie just because the way he's positioned. I didn't think about that. <laughs> 
Oh, almost got saved by the boots. I forgot the boots were there, honestly, so we kind of got lucky we could even shoot them. There we go, then. That went pretty well, I'd say. We got a survival bonus and everything on mission 7. Probably not going to get too many more of those if I'm being truthful, though. Not the you know, like, say, like, oh, we're screwed. But we're not in really any favorable positions, to say the least. Yeah, more practice. Yeah, I might need that. But that's going to do it for today, because like I said, Mission 8, I, I think I'm going to try and practice a little bit off screen. Not a whole lot. I'm just worried that this mission's going to... Well, I'm not worried. I know this mission's going to be a pain in the rear, because it is normally. So, yeah, Wolfie almost has more battles than he does kills. That's kind of embarrassing, considering he's the main guy. You got freaking Leila who is here. <laughs> he's almost tw he has 20 kills and he hasn't been promoted once. He's doing great. Yeah, he's, he has 18. He's doing great, too. These two are new. They're still doing pretty well. I mean, he's not technically new, but he did pass away. But Herman's doing pretty good. Hey, Dry, you'll probably see a fight before too much long. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a good day. I will see you later.